Welcome back, my comrades. I am Victor Barisov. Today we're continuing Fallout 76 playthrough. Day 58, day 59. I know we're in the 50s somewhere. I've totally forgot the day already. But let me just check. I am recording. Yep, green light is on. And now I just want to show my audacity. Yes, I am recording in audacity, so that's perfect. Alright, today's the 20th, I believe, today. Yeah, so I had to wait an entire week to finish off the June records. Just the fact my internet was actually broken. The internet provider actually confirmed to me I was right all along. My internet was broken. So that's now fixed. We should have no problem. And in today's video, we are going to read all the terminals in here. Go do the rest of these missions and see what else we can find. So, I think it's first. Let's loot this building. Okay. Yeah, I've got a problem, guys. I've been looting chems and the cells haven't been reset. It's been like three days, about five days now, and all of them's reset. So that's strange. So wait. Scorch detection system. Let's read that. Scorch detection system. Scorch detection located in the mire requires maintenance. Okay. Communication uplinks. Top of the world communications uplink undetected. Okay. Right, so that's pretty much nightmare. Any notes around here? Follow up on the terminal. Oh yes, there is. What's this one? Returning from registers. Uh, ransacked and found nothing. Empty. Empty terminal. Busted motors and heating coils. Found bunker flooded. Motors no longer working. Scorch living there. Aliens. Okay. Let's break into his safe. It's obviously he isn't going to need it, is he? Oh, and hold on. I need to turn on the timer. Before I do anything else. Or oh, I might forget how long I've been recording for. So yeah. Really? Again? I've been having that all week guys. I keep breaking into the safes. There's nothing. So right, this one's called Abby's Workstation. No, notice if you've made it here, yeah, I am hoping it's still safe to assume you're 100% new. I've yet to see a scorcher assuming user terminal read these entries. Save the world to make it mean. Read me. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, Josie. To the lucky side who found this terminal, my name is Abby. Uh, if you want to get technical, I'm or was the last surviving member of our group called the Free State. Since the war, the mother's. some mother's nature's got quite creative here late. Latest babies and scorched and scorched are by far our biggest threat. If you're really interested in saving humanity, I really hope you're. Help a dead girl out and finish this system. Everything you need to know is on this turn along where a few other informational bits of first crossed it's all up and running. Uh, Scotch detection system. Uh, okay, technical, technically not everything all at once, but once the system's detected that you've onboard the enemies. What is it? First off, what is the SD? I'm glad you asked. The SD is an early warning system for the Scorched. Hold on one second. There we go. Alright, the SD is an early warning system for the Scorched. We've placed the tests all around the Appalachia. Up in special relations signatures, we're able to successfully pull out some of the local tests here in the Maya. But we weren't able to finish the everything necessary to complete the system as the whole thing where you can still to do find and repair the uplink, recover, rotting schematics, gain security access codes, upload the system data via the tower relay, reboot the system. Okay. Uh, believe me, it's not going to be easy as it sounds, otherwise I have already done by right now. If by some miracle that the reader if is you, I hope you still have the last uplink. I couldn't find the materials to make another one, so that sucks bad. Either it still works or hopefully be repaired with the instructions I've left behind. Communications uplink. Communications uplink are a key piece to the SDS Scotch detection system. Their signals to the relay tower uplink peaks on this and transmits the data to a satellite that relays it back down to me, to my mason setup here. I will be able to set up once at each relay tower, but we still need one set up at the top of the world. If you manage to find the uplink that Morgan lost there, you can trigger my next message with the uplink repair operation to the SD terminal. Okay, Scotch detection. Scotch de detection, oh, detection is triggered by Morgan. That's kind of detection. Alright, if you're reading this, it means the my detections need some upgrades. Five, find more, as find the more is a uh, He and Carl's look around the bunk, and he's about to find the closest relay tower. If no one's broken in there and ransacked the place, I should have two stashes in the storage room, my bro. 
five mortars make Tinker's workbench once you have the mortars and coils. I have one here that's now let me down. Look and rush both for this. This I get the instructions for some protection gear that will make it hard for all the crazy new creatures of death to spot you. Okay. Uh, rooting schematics. Entry locked until progress verified. Okay. Access codes. Entry locked until verification. Okay, so that's all locked. If I'm, oh yeah, I am quickly starving, so hold on. Let me just get some food and water in me. Oh, if you're wondering how I've got so much boiled water, I found that in the White Spring. Someone literally just dumped a bag full of stim packs and food and that and, rad, and Radex just on the floor, so I picked it all up. Well, here you are, but if you're watching this by some miracle, thank you. You've actually helped me out a lot. Right, so there's this terminal over here. I can't say his name, but here's his terminal anyway. Personal notes. Oh my god, there's a lot. Day one. We did it. We officially moved into the bunker today. Since we had room for a few more, we took on the curse. Did you know they just... Hello, girl. I'm sure Abby and Carl will appreciate the direction some of a kid to pick on besides each other. So far, we're all a little excited. I'm more of a camping trip right now than reality. Restless. The kids are getting restless now. Seems the new new ease of the bunker has worn off. Abby's old enough that I can distract her with a few small engineering projects that she's missing her friends. Carl and I, on the other hand, are around the same age and this place can barely contain their energy levels. At least us elves can still appreciate a good drink once the kids are in bed. Oh well, Dee Dee. And Sam were right. It finally happened. And China dropped the bombs. We felt the vibrations go through the entire bar, and the kids barely left my side since the news has been cast out. So far, the bunker's entire has healed. No radiation has got through. Let's hope it stays that way. Harper's Ferry. We just sent out a call last night asking if anyone would like to attempt to rebuild a life outside Harper's Ferry. After some direction with the kids, Corey, we've decided to try. It's not going to be easy, but if Abby and Carl can live a life where they see the sky and interact with Mopia, I think it's worth a shot. The Scorched. It's been a while. I haven't written one terminal since we left for Harper's Ferry, but I failed. Oh, right. I was, but we've back. It was several years. So, seven year effort, but a failed one. That new world is more dangerous than we appreciate. There's a new creature out there. We've called the Scorch. It takes over an organism somehow. Bears, deers, even peons, so we can devise a way to face them or ban the boy where I can keep Abby and Carl safe. We lost the curse to this abomination. I won't lose our children. Okay. Proposal. Direction. Hey, please, the Scorch has a unique radiation sensor. Very certain I can rig a detection that can detect this and send out a signal. Could be a type of very warning system. If we had the means to fight, we could fight. And if not, we can retreat to our boys. I still draw no plans tonight. Relay towers. We've talked about and direction to the surrounding region, so we have better eyes into what may be coming our way. This will require great communication that then I can rig together. I think we can somehow utilize the relay towers for this. I'm pretty sure I can build a communications uplink to pick up and send out signals. I just point to get our team for us to go and investigate. Repair bots. Proposed repair bot uplink. I understood how often these uplinks become damaged due to local wildlife. I've tight Terry's death, I've decided to construct a robot that can handle it. I found an iBot that I think we can make use of. Traps. We found some tech at Camp Venture left behind by the Broha Steel. I just theorized that we can make adjustments to create a type of sonic trap for the Scorch Beast. If we can find the right frequency, I think we'll be able to distract it, maybe even ground it long enough to kill it. Okay, interesting. Free state notifications. The glowing swamp. We've recently survived the worst conditions the Maya has ever seen. The following is documentation steps to okay. Chris Dome crane the turbine to max flow to flush the dam. Dry charcoal follow instructions on the operations. Clean and clear. Flush into the river to absorb the ration. Kill any and all glowing creatures you see. Questions? You know how to reach me. Okay. Vine heart. A star said they fought off some ghouls and mylurks that looked to be infested with strangler vines the creatures work together as if it 
Something was controlling them, even they, though they found what called the heart. They took out the heart, seemed to stop the creatures, but there's no guarantee something like that could happen again. Should anyone come across any vine infested creatures, report me to Eddie and his team. This way they can locate any controlling hearts in the area to stop it. Scorch beasts. Not sure how many, how many peel this will reach after the attack on hearts, but the West sure we are working hard on the solution for this new threat. From the Brohus deals last year's mission, we know we're on our own and we know their reports were real. All we can advise for now is to remain in what shells you may have found and if you must leave, stay under as much cover as possible. Scorchby's Laws After many losses, we've set up several locations with Scorchby's Laws. Should you find yourself in a situation where Scorchby's is in there, keep your pit boy on listen to the primary messages. I mean, it's me and them as we speak. We'll be sending our instructions on property usage soon, but remember, use your best judgement, use the law if you are prepared, but if you can, always seek shelter first. Okay. That's an interesting terminal. Let's go and see if there's any power cores in here. No. Okay. Let's go into the rest of this bunker because there's more terminals I remember. That door took a while to open. Right, but I am going to just check. Yep. And yes, let's stop it. Anything in here? Yes, there's a terminal here with numerous beds. Abby's terminal. The Scorched. My dad thinks I'm old enough to start learning a thing or two about the sonic detection system and it's just been work, work, work ever since I hear it. I mean, I get that the Scorch suck and wiped out house, but do they really think all of this is going to work? I'm pretty sure we're screwed and I'll be start starting at cinder block walls for the rest of my life. Okay. Dax. Uh, Dax is gone. He disappeared, but we all know he's dead. It's the last time anyone should trust Calvin to do anything. I don't even see why I ha have a bro can't be an only child twice the birthday price is double the allowance and best of all a dog that would still be alive oh fort defiance oh find information about bros okay i'll do that one later on then okay i'll do that one after i've done early warning guess this is part of the other quest i'm supposed to do but i'll do that one later on the bro brohood's gone their last mission was about defiance falling of that is now we're just putting together a group to see what they can salvage from the old stomping ground camp venture. They may have been an asshole, but if anyone stood a real chance against Scotch, it was the Brohood. I'm curious at what happened, but that would mean finding this fort finds and from the sounds of the messages probably crawling with Scorched. Okay, radio signal. Picked up a really faint radio signal the other night. I, it was a woman's voice. It sounded like she was offering help, but I couldn't make it out. So it comes and goes. It seems getting a little stronger as I went west towards the mountains. I want to crank it out now that everyone's gone. I could really use some help from someone, anyone who's still left, but uh, I have to go through rare territory to get close enough for the signal to come strong. I just can't risk that. Sucks. New beginning. It's been one year since I lost my dad. I was reading through his terminal and remember how dead set the dead set he was on saving us. He trained me as much as I hate it. I know the SD is insane and out, so it could be he had to finish it if he died. Then he died. I did nothing. Stone today as much as it terrifies me to try. I'm going to finish the system. It's what they all died for, even Clark. I'm pretty sure this won't end well, but not to lose. Farewell. A while back, I said I finished the shit yesterday. I realized the chances of my success are minimal, are abysmal to one. So first, I spent way too much time rigging a million different things so it, a what someone else could find my bunk after I'm gone. They have a chance to finish it as well. Now that's done. I've realized this may be my last day. I'm packing a bag and I'm off to the top of the world to find Morgan's uplink. And she probably died up there. So what's this quest? I think this is the one what you're supposed to do after thingy. Yeah, I might stop tracking that one because I think that one's the one you have to do after the free state. So I might leave that for now. Oh, no one planned. Strength and radar armor. I'll turn and dump in my bag. Any terminals in this room? No. And this is the picture of the brother, her, and the dog. How oh, nice. Oh, yeah, and I've got a new uniform, I forgot to tell you. I bought the Golden 44 Magnum skin from the Am Shop Wars Limit Time only. Also, I've 
now I've got a full set of Raider armor. I mean, not Raider armor, Marine armor. I do have the Marine hat. Well, I don't have the helmet yet, but I do have the wetsuit mask, this one. So, also, most of this is, I think, one leg's chameleon. Yeah, this is why I like a chameleon, because I can just go sneak, use my, um, this one. That one, just double damage, it kills people. Also, I've got a new legendary. This one will just double damage. I reskinned it. So, let's see, I'm shop combat dagger skin on it, because it looks nicer. I've decided to bring that, because I've got over, like, a thousand plus, like, nearly two thousand rounds for that. I got a new barbed pole hook as well. Just in case we need to kill anything. But for today, we're going to leave this safety of this bunker. And we need to head to... Well, there's something down here I want to check out. I'm going to run up this road, see what this is. And then we need to go down to here. And I think he's powering up, powering up the mountain town thing there. So, yeah. We'll walk past all these, head down to his bunker. Along the way, we'll investigate while it's along the way. So, right, let's head out. Mainly my power armor, I may not, because this armor weighs a little bit, doesn't weigh too much. It's like four uh, pounds for each of the limbs, about eight, eight for the chest. I think it's a couple of pounds for the wetsuit and the hat, so not that much. Not like my combat armor, I was wearing that came to like a lot of pounds. So I had all different sorts. Oh, here we go. Can I loot this one? No, <laughs> they're still not responding after like five days. Oh, this is not good. Um, right, so there is something down here. Thought there was a dead body there, but it isn't. So that's quite interesting. I might be going a bit mad. Possibly. Possibly not. Who knows? So let's see. Oh. Oh, rock. Anything? Nope, just a machete. Yellow shallows. Okay, so this is like some sort of swamp location. Oh, scorched warrior. Let's go and take him out, shall we? Where were you? Yep, dead. That's how you're supposed to do it. So this is just like some sort of swampy water area. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I know if we follow that stream all the way up there towards this like S, there's a thingy. A uh, crashed fairbird site. But for now, we're going to go back on the roads and we're going to go to Freddy's Horror Shop. Even though that's like a waste of time, I know. But we're going in the wrong direction, but I want to just head up there anyway. Because we'll follow the motorway all the way down. That way anyway. So yeah. We're going to head up to the Horror Shop. Do that one. Because so that means, because if I try and clear most of these areas up here, it means we don't have to backtrack later on. Like, I've got all these, all them, um, that. And it's just that up here. And there's just these down here to get... That, that, and all this. So yeah, we're going to get there slowly. For surely. Oh, we got a dead skeleton just sitting on the road. Okay. Oh. Ah, I like when they put sneaky things in like that. A giant hermit crab. I'm not going to really disturb the hermit crabs because they're just, like, like it says in their name, hermit crab. They don't do much, they just sleep there. I could tack it for like, like possibly some good loot on it. But there's no point, it's just a hermit crab, it's just sleeping. Why is this shop is up here? Oh god, it's all the way over here. Got a while to walk, guys. I do like the swamp. This is one of my favourite areas, because like the sounds, the mysteriousness, the woodland, the wet. All makes for a great adventure, and you can be ambushed like crazy here. Also, I've seen the alien monster a few times. Is that the Flatwoods monster? Might be. Yeah, I've seen that one a few times. I can see that. Uh, let's have a look. Is this just all cliffs? Looks to be. Well, I'm pretty this video is coming out in good quality, guys. I hope. 
So I think I am recording high. Let me just check. Yeah, I'm recording ultra high settings. So that one had one in there. Kill a Wendigo while. Well. How did I get that quest? Okay, let's go and find a clown costume then. But if there is a Wendigo here, I'm not wearing this. Where's my excavator power armor? <laughs> if there's a Wendigo nearby, I'm jumping in this to save my own butt. I'm not dying today. Not in a nice clean outfit. Alright, so let's break into this place, shall we? Right. Uh, come on. Let's break in. Right, we've just... Whoa, this person's dead. Zack. The plan. Right, plan. Finish costume show. Borrow any monster costumes. Meet up by Prid's Barn at 1am. We scare the hell out of Shelby at the, her damn shack. Okay. Aha. Why this? Uh, Halloween clap. Might as well take the costumes anyway. We've got a witch's hat. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you want to fight me? I can just use that. Oh god, now I'm coming in the corner here. Go away. Thank you. Oh my. I'm trying to loot bodies here. But I will take the clown hat. Just because it tells me to kill a Wendigo in a clown hat. It's a bit of a random daily chal miscellaneous challenge like, but... Hey ho. Why is this Wendigo then? You apparently won't make a kill. Oh, do I actually have to... Get in the costume first. Hold on then. Let me just jump outfits then. There. Oh no, here it comes. Jumping power on, jumping power on. I'm wearing it. Come here, Wendigo. Where are you? I'm trying to kill it with a combat knife. Well, I'm doing no damage to it now. Why not? Come here. Oh, you won't play that way, do you? Where is he? Yeah, I'm doing no. There we go. I killed a Wendigo while wearing a clown costume, so you can make that challenge disappear now. Really, does it not classic cells wearing power armor? Really? That's damn annoying. But oh well, I'll just wear it until I find a new clown. But anyway, let's level up. So I can move. No, let's get a new one. Let's have a look. So let's go strength first. Barbarian, no. Bear arms, no. Two max rank. So that's all maxed. Alright, your melee weapons. No, it's 25%. No. Your melee weapons were 25% less. And you could swing them 10% faster. That might come in. Actually, let's go for that one. Martial artists. So that one might be much handier. Let's see. Because most of these are just uh, like gladiator perks. Travelling pharmacist. Yeah, that one's always a good one to have. Right, well, let's have a look. So we're finding our clown. We're just, you know, mad room. Well, lower his health. Jump out of the power armor. Then we'll finish him off with that. Since I said splish plan. But okay. Before that, my work develops in power armor, but obviously not. Oops. Come on, let me break into the safe. There we go. Right, X. No more. I would love to get the communist outfit. Red Chinese commie. That would be amazing outfit just to run around in. Right, it's time to go all the way over there now. 
Some over there to find a Wendigo. Yeah, Wendigo's cave. Yeah, I'll just stop tracking that for now. Then I'll do that possibly my own time. Because that one's going to be an annoying challenge to do. Well, it's only a miscellaneous one, so I don't really have to do it. It's just something I can do in my own time, basically. Um, pre wall money. Yeah, I can double search this one. There we go. Pharmacist. Employees are in the kitchen. Every, every door in this building seems to be locked. I do not like how every door is locked. Right. Uh, known. So. Known. I'm going to tear them because I've a load of them already. That door's locked as well. That needs up there. Let's jump out on my power arc because it should be perfectly safe now for me to do so. And I get rid of this clown costume I'm wearing. And go back to my marine suit. So where's my marine arc? Marine tactical suit. I just want to take out the clown outfit. Apparently I was wearing all my combat armor and everything underneath that. Okay. Alright. Right, yo. Ooh, bright light. Let's head up to the top floor. So this is just the Halloween shop of horrors or something. Quite nice, I must admit. Gunpowder. Uh, right, there's a door here. Let's see if we can enter it. Oh. No, leaving town. There, on to us. I was fired. I'm leaving town. Stay safe. I'm not risky. Oh my god, that's what the rusty key unlocks. Right, we found the rusty key near this moth thing in a house. With an alien blaster in it in the Toxic Valley. So that's what the rusty key is used for. So we'll see what that's used on in a minute. Don't need any of them. Whoa, now this looks like a place of mystery. Uh, so a ton of board games, some food, some electronical like, components, like military grade stuff. Yeah, it's all military grade. Pre war money. Well, she was definitely running town, we can see that. Uh, nope, 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 and uh, nope. Okay. Uh, is there any notes here we can read? No, just a blasted out terminal. Some equipment. Oh, there is a whole tip here. Let's Stolen terminal passcode. How could that be for the thingy? The one at the Pine Resort place, possibly the top of the world place where we found a terminal with required passcode. Oh, who knows? But that's this location described. Small bedroom, not much in it. But oh well, I guess we'll head off back onto the road and continue our adventures. Let's jump down and down. So this is Freddy's little house of horrors, basically. It's not a bad little place, may I say. Well, I don't think I want this... this, this. Oh yeah, I can swing it a bit faster now, so that's handy. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool, guys, with that perk. Just managed to swing. I, I can upgrade it one more time, because I can remove the weightless perk for the pharmacy one. What well, means my chems are going to weigh a bit more, but I don't really carry that many chems. If I find any, I normally sell them anyway. So let's just travel this... This is like Silent Hill vibes now, where it's just like all misty. I'm just suspending someone come out. Oh, dead person. I know a dead person. So I attacked there by something. Oh no, but my screen just went red. So I might use some rad way. Use both of them. Because my more supial pick should... Yep. Reheal me once I get rid of all that. Red worms. Alright, so that's why. How long does that one last, actually? 52 minutes. I might have to get rid of that one. Where's my disease cure? I've got plenty of these in my stash box. Anyway, I've been hoarding them like crazy lately. But anyway, I'll rather get rid of rad worms. So that's going to last that long. Right. Now we're back into the dusty swamp. Right, I'm just going to try and fix this a second. So if I go to high. That sorts that out. Yep, that's fine. 
and then go back to very high. That should really change the quality. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better now. Just looked a bit blurry on my for my eyes. Well, that could just be me, guys. I'm not sure. My looking where? Some things have sonic attacks. I do not like a sonic attack in my face. Hello? Anyone home? Yeah, it's all the way over there. So if we don't disturb him, he will not attack us. Simple model here. My character may be uh, Atomic Spetsna Ranger. Well, Soviet time traveler of the Atomic Spetsna Rangers for the Federation, but you know, after time she does slow down, you know, she has been quite through a lot, you know, battle hardened. Injured, lost an ear at one point. Oh, there's the my Herman Crow and I ran straight into that thing again. God damn, buddy, you're gonna become a problem if you're gonna live there. Oh god, you've just come out. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> just leave me alone, I don't wanna have to kill you. Buddy, I will kill you. Stay back. Nope. God damn it. I know, I know I said you were a problem, but oh where? Okay, you say you're gonna go around the long way. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bit too close. Oh god, he fl he's flying. Goddamn crazy hermit crabs flying. This has turned into a all our bower hermit crab. I try and stab him with a knife. I can get in there. That's right. Come on, buddy. Oh god. You're doing damage to me now. Oh god, that's a lot of rats. That's a lot of rats. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Jesus. Get down, how irradiated are you? You're like horribly irradiated. Where's my rifle? Come here. Hey, I'm not finished with you. Yeah, ugly. Oh god, that got his attention. Oh god, stim pack. My off regen's not gonna kick on until this thing's dead. Yeah, buddy, you haven't got me yet. Come on, one more shot. There we go. Dead. Whew. Oh god, my car is locked in the iron side position. Oh god. That's not good. Oh god, I'm stuck in the iron side position. Oh, this is just. Oh, there we go. Whew. I thought I was going to be stuck in the iron side position the whole game. Rad way. Yes, use a ton of rad way. Is that my look? Well, not my look, uh, Herbert Crab. Who are they toughies, aren't they? Well, I didn't read my tick mark, I could have left him, but it looks like Iron Sold is on, so he wanted to defend himself and try and kill me in the process. What goddamn time is it in this game? 1.30 a.m. No wonder it's still darkish then. Alright, let's go. So we, may, so we may end up discovering, like, it's Funda Mountain along the way, or whatever you call it, the power plant. Yeah. So he must be trying to defend the plant yard, and we need to power it up. So if I get there, I might try and power it up for him, or do it with him, depending on which one it is. Because I don't want to kill him or injure him, like, but... Hey-ho. We'll soon see when we get along that way. So if we, if there is time left to power up the mountain will happily do that in this video or the next depends how long we've got left but yeah oh god what happened to this truck here looks like sun pulled it up that thing oh wendigo wendigo oh cruds oh cruds where did you come from I'm not in a clown costume yet. Let me get into a clown costume. 
Let me just select that quest as well. Where is it miscellaneous? Come on. Mania, buddy. Whoa, you've got sharp talent claws. I know you do. That's why I do not want you jumping on me. Ow. Yep, like that. Goddamn cannibal. There, I've killed one in a clown costume. Am I wearing a hat? Am I wearing a thing? Nope. Okay, I guess that quest is just bugged then. Oh no, there we go. It's complete. Right. Thank you. Thank you for the 20 caps. I'm not doing that again, game. Like, where's my marine tap? I have to repair most of my armor now as well. Well, that was uh, quite scary, just wandering along a... What? Is this a bot? Hello? I am always looking for more help from anyone with a recon scope and an interest in animal behavior. Huh, I'm not helping you. Okay, yeah, interesting. Uh, if I had a recon gun, I would help you, but no. Right, we are approaching the power plant, basically. There is a few things up here we need to discover as well, so we'll probably do them in a bit. But for now, we're going to go to this power plant and see what's to be done there. Looks like someone's fishing boat. So yeah, we've got plenty of time. We've got about 20 minutes left or so, but I can just go over that a little if necessary. Right, we're going to jump into my power armor now because we're coming up to this power plant. I guarantee you we're going to need it. So let's go. These places are normally heavily infested with high ranking enemies now and then. So let's go. Let's see what we can find out at this power plant. Uh, Bob Paul, who, yeah, we'll use that for a change. So we're hardly ever using it. Join up the pen, powering up thingy mountain. Alright, we've got 34 minutes. This is plenty of time to do it. I can speed run this. Thunder Mountain, so I'm assuming this is like a Brojo Steel base or something. Possibly. Yep, yeah, Brojo Steel Flag Lace, so yeah, this is all BOS. Hey, I'm not here to harm you, buddy. I'm just here to power up the power plant. And then. Yeah, the chimneys are over that, is there? Yeah, here we go. Chim two cooling towers. That's what I got, I need a lot of repairs done to them. So that's what I'm here to do. Oh, there's a busted pipe there. Oh, there's a busted pipe right above my head. So let's get all these pipes fixed up. Oh, we know what. Oh, you're a charred one. I like how he's much higher level than me, but I can easily take him out just because I've got like OP weaponry basically. Here they all come now, so yeah. This one I'm not going to take out instantly, but this one I will. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. OP. Whoa, now here comes all of them. Right, this is gonna be interesting. Come on then, you just seem to out your friends. How many is there? Well, I think I may just took out all their ghouls. I did see caps somewhere. Yep, I'll take any caps I can get. Right, any more around there? No, it doesn't look to be. If there is, I can easily fix them up from up top, hopefully. Oh, 
much regret. I just nearly fell down and broke my neck again. I mean, if I'm in power armor. I wouldn't say it's fixed, so I'm not sure if he fixed it or if the game had that one already fixed. Hopefully the game, hopefully that other person fixed that one. So let's go upstairs and check if there's any terminals or anything to fix up here. Might not be like, but it's still nice to look around. Any pipes? I fixed that one, so I don't know why there's a map marker still on that one. So let's go upstairs and see. So I know sometimes there's consoles and terminals and the rest you have to fix up in these places. Nope, this one's fixed as well, so we may not get full, fully repaired because I think this one might have glitched. Medical goggles? Okay, I'll take them. Like BOS related, so I'll just take them. Oops. Just jump. Okay, not all the pipe work. Right, let's go to the other tower then. Start repairs on this one over here. Don't like how it's so dark in these locations. That one's fixed as well, strangely. Vines everywhere. Just a couple more pipes around here. Oh, I don't see any other pipes. Unless I'm just going blind. Possibly. No, that one's not leaking. Yeah, it looks like there's no more pipes to fix, sadly. So I don't know why it's done that, but that's sometimes a glitch in the game, I think. Yeah, this definitely looks like this one might have glitched on us. But I will check the other tower just in case I missed any. I don't think I did like. So I'm not hearing any hissing. That one is covered up quite well actually, but still. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Well, let's go and check the other tower then in a minute. Right, yes, yeah, so let's go and check the other tower out just in case. you never know if you're gonna miss one. So this goes into the cool tower. Let's take up this way. Anything in here? Doesn't look to be. Miners, helmets. And this just leads into yeah, that power plant. No, I don't see any hissing pipes or anything. These are all fixed, so yeah, I'm assuming it's glitched out on us again. I'm dehydrated. Okay, I'll get some water in me then. Um, yeah, definitely no hissing pipes over there. No. Yes, that's a bummer. That one's glitched out on us. Definitely is. So I would love to fix this plant up to 100%. But that can't be helped. I'll just make a note of that and report to Bethesda later again. And tell them to stop and fix the power plant quest. Why not all the pipes can be fixed for some strange reason. So I do not see the pipe. I've checked every single one I can. Yeah, 
All pipes are fixed, so yeah, I'm not sure on that one. But well, let's go inside then and do the turbine haul. Then get, if we can fix that one up to 100% and the reactor, it's just going to be the ventilation system wasn't going to be fully working properly, but oh well. We can't help that, can we? Ow. Wait, is he inside here? He might be inside here doing some damage. Yeah, he is. I'll let him take out all the ghouls. Deathclaw Golden Extension mod. Yes, even though you can't put the mods on yet, it still doesn't help. This is a different turbine hole. I've never been on this one. I'm gonna go downstairs to the basement and Oh I have been in this one before. This is the one where everything seems to glitch in this one plan. Short gotten this. There's that pipe there. Oh is he going for it? Yep, that's cool. That one's been repaired. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it for this one due to the fact it's a. Uh, can't see any more pipes anywhere. That one is fixed. This terminal is now fixed. So yeah, I'm not sure what more we can do in this one. But yeah, that is strange. How this one glitches out every time. Hmm. But oh well. Right, what's this main plant? Right, so we're gonna have a look around here, see if we can find any terminals, any notes, or anything like that. Control the main plant, so we'll try to remove the signs. This is the plant offices, okay. Ah, oh, this is the control room. Oh, there is a scorch drink in that. Blasted up by pieces. Nice. Let's have a look. So, our pipe, irrigation, roof, access, plant offices. Yeah, let's go down plant offices then. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any notes or anything. Boilers. That's the downstairs lobby. It's like a conference room. So we'll have to go down to the lobby properly. Bomb reactor room. Roof access. Pipe irrigation and cooling tower. Okay, so that's that. So yeah, these are just the same layouts, basically, just a few different alterations and tweaks, basically. To a few of the rooms. Use terminal. Let's get this place fixed up then, shall we? So that's that fixed. 
think these ghouls are a lot higher because it's a high level in the area as well, what makes a bit more sense. These the ringers will want him out of here. Come on. That's it. They just magically died. Don't want the grenade launcher. I don't want the grenade launcher ammo either because I've got a ton of that as well. That leads into to the toilets. It's just small little rooms in there. So I need to start the reactor up anyway. That's fine by me, like. Would be nice to get this fully fixed up, but oh well. Yeah, let's have a look. Heavy combo and you've got a waste car. Fusion generator, yeah, I got a fusion generator. Mutant slits, oh, I can use this cell that. Alright, so yeah, that's where the fuel storage goes, the nuclear waste material and the rest. So that's alright. Alright, this just goes into, yeah, the washrooms and the rest. Search again, give me some good. No. Oh, Broho Steel Scribe Uniform. Well, we're gonna get some Broho Steel Uniforms even though we're not with them yet. Hey, might as well grab them while we can. The only one I want I can't grab from here because it's already owned and I have to tell you, I'm gonna get a bounty on my head for stealing. That's the one in this plant yard what's owned by this person here. But yeah. So that's a shame. No, I feel... Field scribe hat. Yeah, I'll take that one. It's like a little kitchen area, it looks like. Not bad. Toilets. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, power armor stands. Yeah, it looks like the bro was still was definitely here. Yeah, power armor stands, everything. Main loan docks as well. We'll bring everything in. To the fuel storage and just dumped it in them tanks through there. Oh well then, I say we get on with our travels then guys, do we? That's not to be the best idea. But if this person does log out of this server or if he doesn't and we're going to a different server later on or something like that, I will come back here and get the camouflaged BOS uniform. So there is a nice camouflaged one and I'm all about camouflage as you know and military stuff. I will grab that one. Oh yeah, that picture doesn't really suit my character well. <laughs> she started off so beautiful. And then just, uh, what's the word? Got an ear ripped off while finding a death claw with a pen knife. A few more scratches, covered in dirt, bombs, bullets, everything like that. I'll actually show you the evolution of my character when this loads, guys, in the full mode. Uh, hold on. Is this loaded? Yeah, whoa, it's daytime now as well. Whoa, that's nice. Oh, yeah, BOS logos everywhere. So let's have a look. So I've got a photo gallery. Here we go. Evolution of my character. So it goes. Basically, that's how she would have looked at the start. Then she went like mad a little, got dirty, a few more scars. And then eventually she ended up like that. Missing an ear, completely scarred, injured, battered, and bruised. So yeah. Uh, So this is Thunder Mountain. I might go up on the roof actually and see what we can actually scavenge up there. So let's just get a picture, shall we? Of this location. So I want shot. I want like musk. Oh god, I best stand back bit on my foot to get clipped through that. Wasn't gonna look good. Uh, let's go with that. I want to try and zoom out quite considerably. Now I'll turn the strength all the way up. Now it just looks blurry as out. Yeah, so only the black bit needs to be blurry-ish. There we go. 
not sure if it's a thumbnail video. Yeah, he's done that. I think the suit's in that tent there, where he is. So yeah, I'm not going to go and steal the suit. But anyway. Oh, so that's security yeah, area. Right. Yeah, see, I think it's... Yeah, it's there it is, you see. That's... Screw it, I'll pick it up. If I get a bounty, I'll get a bounty. Did I get a bounty on my head? No, I didn't. That's all. That's actually amazing. I didn't get a bounty for taking the suit. I'm actually surprised, actually. Oh, well. I got the camouflage suit then, so I don't really need to come back here any time, time soon, basically. Damn, I forgot near them two blown things. I need to go up to the roof, that's the thing. I don't want to steam to death, that's why I'm just carefully hugging the wall and the rest. Because some things are hot steam. I would get melted to death if I go in that. So I think down here. Uh, just a ton of hard hats. Oh, and food. Trays, helmets, what's this? Fuel storage area right here. Uh, that. Toolboxes. This one's locked, so I might have some good in it. What? I'm not even in his power plant. Oh my god, that's highly stupid. I'm not even in his area. I'm on the power plant. A class is me stealing. I'm not even in his workshop area, but I'm on the plant. But okay. I just can't say of our place on the map, but if someone comes along and kills me, that's alright. I'll just make sure I'm not carrying any junk. Well, yeah, I'm actually damn. Well, I have to go to a stash box soon then. Hopefully, he has a stash box or something in his camera. I can just dump all this off after then. But yeah, if he wants to come along and kill me, that's alright. Trying to see if there's a dead BOS. No, tons of dead scorched though. Hmm. But there is that catwalk over there, and there's more scorched there, so we'll go and see them in a minute. We've just gone over 55 minutes or so, so we are going to end this in a few minutes once I've searched this area and we'll get out here. Or I might just let his turrets take me out. That could be another option. I know it's going to mean like me dying in one of these videos, but hey. I still got a bammy off my head for 10 caps, so that's a bit like annoying, but wasn't even in his camp ends where them where barriers are there guys. I was over there and I get bammied. Unless it's that delayed, I stole the overalls. Okay, he wants to fight me there. So I'll take you on. Oh boy, he's dead. Oh, so that's where the other one is. So that one for the tur power turbines is all the way on this roof. Now, oh, that is a bit stupid, like. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, but it doesn't look like there's any more dead BOS presence here. Well, well let's try and go into this camp and try and see. Face. Yeah, it's totally going to try and kill me, so that's alright. I'll let them do that in a minute. But first of all, I find a stash box. Please tell me he's got. Yes, he has got a stash box. Drop all junk. There we go. So that's perfectly fine. So that's one death on the calendar. Apparently I was caught stealing when I was lockpicking sunk what wasn't even in this camp. Or I could have been completely delayed for me stealing the overalls, but who knows. No, I've still got the 10 cap bounty. That's a ridiculous game. You should just let him have the bounty. Because he kill technically killed me, but whatever. I have to let, I'm going to have to go to White Springs and let someone kill me over there then in my own time. But anyway, guys. So I've just died for no reason, basically. But I'll put that on the counter anyway. But guys, if you like this video, give it that thumbs up. 
If you didn't like it, give it that thumbs down. If you have any questions at all about this video or any of our videos about this one or any other guys, put in the comments below. I'll try and answer them the best of my ability I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.